What's happening, party people? In today's video, I went to get some parts for Sebastian's car, half successful. Then I went back to work on Sebastian's car. Didn't get much done. I had some distractions, had some parts to ship out, stuff like that. But we did get a few things. We got the timing stuff situated. We got the rear main seal done. We checked out the turbo a little bit so we can get that on and just had a little bit of progress. We got the flywheel installed and moved forward a little bit. Only had about four or five hours of work done on Sebastian's car. So we're going to hit that thing hard and heavy in the next video. Appreciate you watching. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to get a few more things together to function better for the community. But one thing I do want to do is get a full color entry level t-shirt printer. This t-shirt printer prints directly on the t-shirt, full color. We actually had one and it was, I guess we'd call it amateur hour. It never did as good as we wanted it to. So we never really rolled it out and offered any full color t-shirts through the Robert DIY. So I'm probably going to do a GoFundMe, some kind of supporting thing like that. Whatever you donate towards helping me get that printer, we are going to give you a coupon of 20% off the value of whatever you donate. So our goal is to get 500 people to do 20 bucks. And whatever you purchase off the website or whatever you do in the future for me helping you, we will give 20% off up to the value of your donation. So if you give 20 bucks, next time I send you a part, it's going to be 20% off until you consume that 20 bucks. If you send 100 bucks, my services will be 20% off until you consume that 100 bucks. So we want to get a good entry level, professional quality, full color t-shirt printer. You know, some of the ones that we order, like I get t-shirts in a in the mail, my buddy Manny bought me a t-shirt, one of those legend t-shirts with the car on it. I don't know how many times I wore that thing, but after about three or four washes, it started to fade. We really don't want our items fading. That's why most of what we've done is vinyl. Vinyl doesn't fade, but it cracks. These professional quality t-shirt printers, full color, the color is supposed to last the life of the shirt. So it's not going to be something that you wear two, three times and then, you know, it turns into a work shirt. You wear it, you clean it. If you put it on a good quality t-shirt, it'll last the lifetime of the shirt. Man, I've had t-shirts that I've worn for 30 years. I'm not, I, you know, I don't know if I'm proud to say it or not. It's amazing that I could fit a t-shirt, but I had some laying around that I couldn't even fit no more. But I like the t-shirt that much at 30, 40 years. They finally got thrown away where they should have been thrown away after 10, maybe 20 years. But I'm going to need you guys' help to get that printer. I'm not a debt guy. I don't like getting into debt. Debt makes you a servant to whoever loans you uh, the money for that. So I'd really rather work out of debt. I think we got enough people to have, man, if 500 people gave 20 bucks toward that thing, we can get that machine we can get maybe some accessories to go along with it to speed up the process of applying the, the print process on there. This printer will also do press-ons. So you can order logos. If you got a small business, you can order full color logos and we can even send you some uh, iron-on things that you can iron on to your shirts. So anyway, after we get that, we're going to offer the inexpensive shirts as well as some of your better quality shirts. Uh, one of my guys said, hey, I really don't want to order a cheap shirt, 20 bucks. I'd rather have a good quality t-shirt, $30, $40 t-shirt, and get whatever I want printed on it after that. I'd spend 50, 60 bucks for a, a good quality shirt. So anyway, that's what I want to get you guys help with. So I'll get that up on my website, maybe set up a GoFundMe get that done and behind us so we can keep moving forward. I'm going to update a wish list page on my site soon. And we just want to, hey, have fun and 
get things done in a good quality way. So let me go ahead and let you watch this video. Catch you at the end. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the Tinker Day back at this parts car and it looks like it is sitting in a puddle where I need to get under it and do something. Eesh. Anyway, let me see what I can do other than the puddle and go from there. Come to get a couple of parts for Sebastian, NA cams, intake manifold. Need to get parts for a couple other people. Need to get this car in the air. So let's see if there's a floor jack around. We're going to put on some mosquito repellent and try not to get eaten up out here. This must be a 95 branded as a 96. Yep, 695. So it's got the EGR, which we did not want. So this intake manifold is useless to us. Other than that, we got the NA cams. We got the fuel rail injectors for Miss Sandy. We took the power steering pump for someone. Since we're here, we got the alternator and the AC compressor because those things are handy to have. Should take this alarm horn because those are usually in op in other people's vehicles. So let me get that. And we got the ignition switch because the ignition switch and lemonade is bad. So we're going to wrap it up. We took the fan off to get it out of the way. The ECU's out to get it out of the way. And I think that's all for now. Let's pack out of here. Hour and a half, we're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna look for a car in the salvage yard. <laughs> we are back at it, folks. Let's get cracking. Time to get to work. Sad enough, I'm actually hungry because I ate a light breakfast, I ate a bowl of cereal. But anyway, we're gonna start out by pulling this rear main seal out. I think I got the tool with me to put that in. Then we're gonna pull this turbo and exhaust manifold. Time to get back to work. I shipped out a couple of parts, cleaned up a couple of parts, had a lunch break, bathroom break. Let's get with it. Okay, boys and girls, this is the difference between what you have and what you want. What you have, if you have a 94 or 95 850 turbo, and what you want. This what comes on that 2000 and newer T5 cars. Angle flange, hole big enough to tee up your softball. This is a hole big enough to hold on to your handball. Big difference. Getting that heat and exhaust gases away from your turbo. The quicker and the further way you can get that heat coming right off your turbo, away from the back of your turbo, slowing down your turbines, the better. A good, healthy looking wheel. That one looks like it's been a little hot. Probably because it's bottling up on the back of it. This one's like perfect. That's what you want to see in your exhaust. So we got two hurdles with this one. We got a bolt broke off in the exhaust turbo flange. Two, it's got that bolt. We need the proper pipe for mounting this or our pipe's going to hit the transmission bracket. We're going to move forward with a couple things and deal with this a little later. Next up, we got our sealant for our threads. We're going to mount that flywheel. This car has about 120,000. Apparently has the original water pump on there. You see it's got three teeth and missing a cog. All the way around except for here, it's got two cogs. So it's got... Two, missing one, three, missing one, three, missing one, three, missing one, three, missing one, and then two. A signs of an original water pump. Does say Volvo on it, T3-8. 
It's only got 120,000, so it's not a lot of miles, but age-wise, you really don't want to be running a pump this old. So I set the timing. You can see that mark there. Barely see that mark there. Let me get a wire brush to clean that mark up. Yeah, I guess that's that mark. And we'll see the mark down there. I'm going to pull this off real quick so we can see that crank mark, which is the most important mark. And there it is, folks. The mark for the crank. A little teeny weeny notch there. This original idler is tight. These things used to go 200,000 miles. This tensioner is also tight. Makes a little bit of noise. It's probably good for another belt cycle though because it's tight. So we're going to run that. Got this all cleaned up. Ready to put on the green gasket. Only green gaskets. Only green gaskets. And then the water pump. Man, that thing is not under the cover. So let me tuck that under the cover. Get that right, then put the pump on. So there you have it. Not a lot done on Sebastian's car that day. But tomorrow was an action-packed day of fun. So I didn't want to combine these two videos because tomorrow's video is long enough without this six, seven minutes on it. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support. Have a great day.